Hey YouTube, it's R29 here, and in this video, um, I want to show you how to make your own wallpaper theme for your iPod Touch, iPhone, or iPhone 3G. Now, as you can see, this is a moving a video wallpaper, but I'll show you how to make your own wallpaper. And this is not the lock background or anything, it's this right here where I have the moving background. And it is fairly easy. And the first thing you need to do is you need to get some kind of um, software for pictures. Um, this can be Photoshop. If you have Photoshop, that's great. That's really good. Um, but if you don't have Photoshop, because it is very expensive, um, there's a free software that does everything Photoshop does, and it's really great, and it's called GIMP. Go to the first link in the video description, and that will show you um, a website where you can download the software GIMP. It's totally free, does everything Photoshop does, and it's a little bit easier, too. Um, and once you have GIMP installed, um, the other thing you're going to need is obviously some kind of picture that you want for your wallpaper. This can be anything. This can be a J, uh, JPEG file. It can be any size. We need to resize it and convert it anyways. So I've got a picture of the Golden Gate Bridge here. It is JPEG and it's not named anything well. And all we're going to do is we're going to drag and drop it into GIMP. You should have this dialog once you open up GIMP. After you have it installed, you're going to drag and drop it in there. And it is a huge um, picture, so obviously we can't fit the whole thing on our iPod Touch as a wallpaper. So in GIMP, it's going to vary a little bit, obviously, in Photoshop, but you want to somehow resize this image. So we're going to go to Image in GIMP, and we're going to click Scale Image. Now, in this dialog that pops up, for the width, which is the first one, we need to make this um, 320. So 320. And then what it does is it automatically um, changes the height so that it'll be proportionate to the picture. And that's not really what we want. So we need to click here and see it automatically changed it to 240. So what we need to do is highlight this number and click this little symbol right here. I'm not sure what it's called. But we want to click that. And what that will do is make sure that it does not um, change by itself. It'll do whatever we tell it to. So we're going to click 480 for the height, which is the second one. So it should be 320 by 480, and make sure this is on pixels, not um, any measurement or um, percent. So 320 is the width, and 480 is the height. If you want, if you know any other um, softwares that can resize pictures for you, go ahead, but make sure it's 320 by 480. Um, is the size and then you can click scale and as you can see it scaled the image it looks small here because it's um, the picture was so big before that it's not zoomed in enough but as you can see in the top it should say 320 by 480 once that is done in GIMP or whatever you're gonna do you're gonna click file and we're gonna click save as and when we click save as it's gonna ask us what we need to name it and this is what we need to name it. We need to name it capital W A L L P A P E R. So wallpaper with the capital W. Again, capital W A L L P A P R. Now the iPod Touch does not read JPEG or just it can't use JPEGs. So what we need to do is click select file type by extension, click the little plus sign, and again in Photoshop it's going to vary a little bit, but we're going to go down and we're going to click the one that says PNG image, and then we're going to click save. As you can see it changed itself to wallpaper.png and that's exactly what we need. We're going to click save. And when it pops up this dialog, again, we're going to click Save. And it would have saved another picture that's the exact um, size and format we need. So now we can close out of GIMP. And we need to make another folder that we can name whatever we want. I named it Golden Gate Wallpaper, but you can name it whatever you want. You can name it um, Arjun's Wallpaper or whatever your name is. Um, and all you're going to do is drag and drop that renamed and uh, resized folder, file I mean, um, that says wallpaper.png. And you're just going to drag and drop it into that folder that you named whatever you wanted. And that's all we're going to need to do. 
Now we're gonna need to SSH into our device. That will be the second link in the video description, how to SSH, I have a video on it. And now we're gonna open up SSH, and in WinSCP or whatever you're using, we're gonna backspace once, and you must have Winterboard installed um, to do this. I didn't mention that earlier, sorry, but kind of make that um, understood. All right, so then we're gonna open up the folder called Stash, and then we're gonna drag and drop this folder that we named whatever with the picture inside of it into the folder that says themes dot a random six letter digits, random six letter digits. So we're just gonna drag and drop it in there, make sure it's highlighted. And it asks us to copy. We're gonna click copy, obviously. And I'll copy in no time at all. Then we're gonna go back onto our iPod Touch and we're gonna open up Winterboard. And then we're gonna check off the um, newly named uh, the, new, the fit folder that we named whatever we wanted. It should be at the top because it's the most recently added. Um, I'm just gonna um, take off my theme that has the video wallpaper. So we're gonna take that off, and we're going to click the home button, and it will be respringing our iPod Touch or your iPhone or iPhone 3G. And it's just doing its thing. It takes probably a little bit more time to respring because I had such a big theme on it that I had to disable. And when it is done respringing, we're going to slide to unlock. And as you can see, it did have my picture of the Golden Gate Bridge. And it actually does look pretty nice. It's pretty good um, quality, even though we shrunk it really, we shrunk it a lot. It still, um, it still um, had its um, kind of its dimensions. It um, remained not too squat or not too like skinny. It remained most of its um, original size or its proportion. It's almost proportionate. So yeah, guys, I hope you guys liked that. Um, please subscribe, rate, and comment, and I will see you guys later.